Well, to start this, I must tell you that I'm a little bit skeptic about the things that I'm going to talk to you about in the next couple of minutes. Beforehand, I truly believe that the universe is huge and that humankind and life on Earth must not be that unique. Last week, for example, I read on the newspaper that NASA discovered 700 new planets. Just imagine the possibilities. But that's not what we came here to talk about. I want to talk about my trip to New York last month and how I recorded something unexpected with my cell phone. On Friday, February 14th, we took our plane in Santo Domingo. For my son Liam, it became an amazing experience since it was his first flight. He was amazed by the clouds, the islands down there and the acrobatic planes flying around us. Hold on, acrobatic planes? That shouldn't be there. The thing is that another commercial aircraft was traveling close to ours. Something very interesting to see from the perspective we were. A plane nicely flying through the clouds, leaving a beautiful trail behind it. I started recording with my cell phone, trying to zoom in to see if I could take a closer shot of the plane itself. And that's where weird things started to happen. I could clearly see that some kind of flying objects were erratically and fastly moving up and down, hiding under the clouds and then appearing again. They were always behind our neighbor plane, in an angle that was almost impossible for the passengers of that plane to see what was going on behind them. There's a moment where my son Liam, as an innocent witness, exclaims in Spanish, Oh, look, that acrobatic plane! It's now going down and then up. I'm not sure what happened that day, and I wasn't even thinking about publishing this video. But this week something weird is happening in Malaysia, with a lost plane that until now nobody seems to know exactly what it is. It just vanished in the air, with 239 passengers. I'm not saying that flight MH370 was abducted by aliens, but one thing is for sure. Somehow, in my flight, I was not afraid. I felt safe. Why? Leonel Fernandez was traveling with us that day, so if aliens abducted us, we will have a good negotiator, that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks God we didn't have to.